The round of 32 continues here at Winky Pop. Yago Dora taking on Ian Gentile. Ian Gentile representing Maui and Hawaii. And Yago Dora, big part of the Brazilian storm, turned in his best season to date last year in 2023 and came incredibly close to making the WSL finals last season. Just came off a tough result in Portugal, getting an equal ninth. Over the last uh, season, really improving his performances. Here he goes, up and riding. Looking to control the start as Ian Gentile kept paddling deeper than his good friend Yago, and we'll see if it pays off. Nothing yet for the Maui boy. Then connects with a nice off the top. Still working hard, sneaks in a climb, and steps off. Had as a junior where he actually thought maybe this wouldn't happen. It all came true as we look at this last replay. Yes, yeah, streaking down the line, gets a ton of speed. Starts to open up with this section here. Quick snap, keeps that momentum going. And a little shimmy on that uh, on that final. Be below a mid-range score, I feel like. This is live action here with Yago. Dora now hitting the lip. Nice, tight, compact backhand surfing to start, but trying to get some more out of this wave. There's a vertical hack and trying to put a little bit more into the end section. Just look up to Yago so much above the lip as we look at his opener again. Yeah, so uh, I feel like Yago gets the opening exchange here. And uh, these moments right here, gets up and over the foam. Bang, hits that one vertical to finish things off. Be appreciate everything that's going on around you and that's when you'll do your best surfing. Now setting this one up is Ian Gentile. Flowing through that first section with the float. Another climbing type maneuver to cover some ground. Catching up to a section where he can really connect with a big hack. Now a carve and he'll keep that flow going down the line to find a finish, which was the most aggressive. So a quick in and out. And in contrast, Ian Gentile streaking down the line. Almost weightless with these two flowing uh, floaters here. Now he grinds the lip. Saw a little moment of fins just flashing out of the lip there. And he gets a bit of a cut down straight into a snap and then goes for this strong finish. Close out re-entry, bust the tail out. That's a better ride. Just not think about that cutoff after the fifth event. Let's have a look what happened. Yago Dora, here's the replay on his second wave. A little bit of foam and turbulence on the face, but he cracks that first turn, gets the drift. Entirety of that, uh, of that heat, he kept on sneaking up the inside and getting these ones that were breaking a little bit deeper. And this was that last wave. Yeah, so it's that, that start, opening combination is where the judges uh, really found all the points and then the strong finish as well. But, you know, that second turn of, of Coles is arguably the biggest face turn of the heat. Uh, a lot of water displacement. And as you can see here, this second turn, he just gets all that tail release, really blows the fins out. Critical moment right here. And we know that uh, degree of difficulty and that critical nature of the turn is something that the judges really pay. We love close seats. And I just had a quick chat with the head judge, uh, Luli. You know, Luli's watching the panel and not sitting down, writing the scores down. And he just said, I believe the judges really loved that first combination of maneuvers in comparison with other similar rides. And they took their time to review. Every single single one of these heats, um, you know, they are crucial in, in the entirety of the surfer's career, and that's why there's so much passion involved with them. Yago Dora, backhand float to start this one off, holding the bottom turn and a nice rapid cutback, easy pace to follow as he's tracking down the line, and now oh. hits it up off the lip to shut it down. When someone finishes sixth in the world, you're ready for them to, to show up and blow up at the first Absolutely, event of the season. Absolutely, <laughs> but it's not that case, mate. It's etchy sketch. You just shake that thing, and it's a clean slate every season. Good wave here from Yago Dora in particular. This final turn here just slams it so hard. All these little, um, you know, special features that go into the individual board for the individual rider. Ian Gentile on the mayhem. Clean sweep to start. Chunky section, drifts through it to create some space oh, and punches it out wow. again with the layback slide. Silky wrap again and now sets up a beautiful hook oh, using all of life. that rail. Yeah, you can celebrate. That felt good. It looked good. Actually, both these surfers, the boards are looking fantastic. Watch this. Clean slice off the top. Sort of navigating through these bumps and smoothing them out through each one of these turns. That one there, that big layback attack. 
and gets a swooping cut back and down to the finishing turn. Bang, big wrap again. So uh, great variety on that ride. This will be a great angle here. Already popping the fins on that first turn and again on the second. And he wraps it up. Quick cutbacks down the line. Beautiful fan of spray. So Ian Gentile, you can see more of a, an upright stance. Fairly narrow stance too, compared to some. But just always hunting down the line. That turn there in particular, frame that, freeze that. Oh man, I'm putting that on my wall for sure, but Yago is looking to answer. Quick tag there in the white water. Throws the tail oh. high and doesn't what? reverse. Shows even more control as he's firing himself up. I'll go on the backhand. So quick, so precise in his board placement. I love these back and forth battles. So true, Kaipo. Pretty rad to see two good friends going blow for blow, changing the lead. And then this is what Kaipo saw. Fins in his face and especially backhand. So difficult to accomplish. Oh, it is just on the backhand. Look at this, just so inverted. Come on, drone, get out of the way. Let's watch this. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually harder to do, what, what, what uh, Yago does here. So instead of going with the full rotation, he goes, no, hang on a minute. I'm just going to ride prone for a second and then bring it back around. Takes an incredible amount of control to be able to do that. And you can see the reaction from Yago. He was pumped on it. Because the idea there, Rich, is you can keep your motion forward and just keep that spin going, or you can show the judges you have control with your fins out. <laughs> he will dead set get you. No, we love Matty Bemrose. He he can switch the serious face on when it's when it's game time, but uh, every other minute of the day, it is a practical joker. Watching Yago going down the line. There's a first snap, looking solid. Nice carve on this inside corner under priority of Gentile. Probably felt might as well just give something for the judges to look at. And now Gentile looking to maybe turn this one around right here. He will catch this wave. Needing a 6.54. Taps the float. He's got some work to do to cover some ground. Still working on a big section and oh, misses no. it on the rotation. And Yago Dora and head into the round of 16. And it all came down to keeping his head in the game through several lead changes. And how about that? Just rock and roll backhand float. One of the coolest styles in the game of pro surfing. Great job to the officials who allowed a lot of fans to get down low on the beach. It was more than I've ever seen at Winky Pop. And then had to gather him up the staircase once that tide started filling in.